When it comes to the treatment of acne, there's a variety of medications that can be used. First, let's talk about retinoids. When it comes to retinoids, we have the topical and the oral retinoids. Topical retinoids are preferred when it comes to mild to moderate cases of acne. The retinoids should be applied once daily and this should be done at bedtime. It is important to always remember to wear sunscreen once you've used a retinoid. It is important to note that when using topical retinoids, you have to apply on the entire acne prone area and just not on the acne lesion. Example of topical retinoids used include tretinoin, isotretinoin, alitretinoin, adapalin, and tazarotin. In cases of severe acne, oral isotretinoin is used. But it is important to note that oral isotretinoin is only used in severe acne cases. And its use should be done after one has received a prescription from a licensed medical practitioner. Another important thing to note is that retinoids should be avoided during pregnancy as they are not safe for the unborn baby. The second treatment for acne is benzoyl peroxide. Benzoyl peroxide is available in both over-the-counter and prescription as cleansers, lotions, creams, and gels. With benzoyl peroxide, you apply to the affected area once or twice a day and always remember to use sunscreen when you go outside as it may increase photosensitivity to your skin. The third treatment option is azelaic acid. Azelaic acid is reserved for patients who cannot tolerate benzoyl peroxide or topical retinoids. This is because azelaic acid is very pricey and some studies have shown it to be less effective compared to retinoids and benzoyl peroxide. The fourth option is salicylic acid. Salicylic acid is available in non-prescription creams, lotions, and gels. Its strength ranges from 0.5 to 2%. Salicylic acid works by unclogging your blocked pores. Hence, it helps in relieving acne. The next option we're going to talk about is the sulfur preparation. Sulfur preparations exist in concentrations of 2 to 10 percent. They are rarely used as they produce skin discoloration and they also tend to have a bad smell. When using topical creams, it is important to note that for oily skin, you use gels and solutions as they might have a drying effect on dry skin. Less drying creams and lotions are preferred for dry skin or sensitive skin. Also remember that ointments are too comedogenic to be used in acne. So ointments are not used in acne. Hormonal therapies can also be used in cases of hormonal acne. This basically includes the use of oral contraceptives. The use of hormonal therapies should be strictly for non-pregnant women who are not planning on conceiving. Antibiotics can also be used in acne. Examples of brands that have been used include tetracycline, erythromycin, minocycline, and doxycycline. Antibiotics are useful for acne caused by propioni bacteria. They can be used either topically, that is they are, they are directly applied to the skin, 
or systemically where they are taken as tablets or capsules. One thing you have to note, despite all these remedies, is that there is no known cure for acne. The treatments only help to minimize severity and scarring of the lesions. I really hope you find this helpful as you go through your acne journey. Thank you.